hi friends welcome to my channel and this is part 6th video in VCP7 data center virtualization 2020 and in this video we are going to focus on configuring roles privilege and permissions in vCenter server so why we need this type of roles and privilege uh, and permissions in vCenter server so for example you are a VCSA administrator and you have a IT support staff who regular used to do a troubleshooting on the virtual machine and they they used to require have a permission to reboot those virtual machine and take the console of those virtual machine in case the RDP is not coming they used to come on vCenter server and log into the uh, log into vCenter server and check the uh, uh, like virtual machine console if it's working or not if they find the virtual machine is in hang state they, they should be able to restart it without having uh, involving the v, v, uh, uh, basically a VMware administrator so that's why you require maybe there was lots of use cases use cases you require the different type of roles and privilege permissions in vCenter server so same similar kind of example we are going to go through in this video and we are going to create some some um, different type of groups in Active Directory and going to give the relevant permissions to those groups in a vCenter server so yeah so in my lab environment I got two machines so basically two servers so the first one is my Active Directory we require Active Directory server to have a groups created in Active Directory so the same group is going to map in your vCenter server so win2k19 dc01 this is my domain controller and dns server so if i go here you can see this is my server manager Active directory and dns is installed on this machine this is win2k19 dc01 and my domain name is leftsandson.com so now this is my domain controller and this is my vcenter server so i already logged in from my windows 10 console machine on my vcenter server so if I go here you can see this is my vCenter server INVCS01 and if I go here OSINT cluster I got my vCenter server which is running version 7 and on in this vCenter server I got two ESXi ESXi01 and ESXi02 so the first thing we need to ex uh, understand the roles if, if you talk about the roles and uh, there was few predefined roles already created in your uh, vCenter server so if I go to menu and administration administrate administrations you can see here the few roles as already created which is pre-created however you can create the customized roles also like like uh, what you want to uh, where you want to give the access to use uh, to different users or group so you can s create on global also you can create on the host specific if you want to give host specific rights you can give it like um, virtual machine level access uh, anything you can create and give like like if you want to give any you any group to have us only access on basically creating the snapshot and deleting the snapshot then definitely you can come here and allow the permission from the snapshot and if you click here this this group is going to uh, the role is going to get the snapshot management so create remove rename and revert so if I click next and you can call it like VCSA snapshot admins so this is this is going to be a snapshot admins so this uh, group having snapshot right so just click on finish so now if you go here and you will see this group is created now so VCSS snapshot admin so this is going to have if you click on privilege you can understand uh, see the virtual machine privilege and it got only uh, uh, snapshot management of privilege so similar you can create multiple type of like group and if you talk about this if I go here and active directory and create one group called the same name it may be a which group we created here so it's going to be a um, VCSA hyphen snapshot hyphen admin so if I create this group here like VCSA snapshot admins and click OK so now if I want this uh, this group to have access on a 
on the uh, my vCenter server so for that we need to go to our vCenter server and if I go in permissions you will see here I need to click on add and my uh, this is going to be uh, my domain and I'm going to type vcsa hyphen snapshot so this is going to be a snapshot admins the group which we have created in AD and we can assign the at the role which we have decided uh, just created so it's going to be a VCSA snapshot admins so and propagate to ch ch uh, child so if I click OK and now if I go to any of the virtual machine you will see here mm, go to permission and you will see this group is directly going to come here since this is going to be a and role is VC, uh, VCSS snapshot admin so this is how we can create the customs uh, custom administration role and if you want to give go ahead and create the pre pre-existing anything like you you have administrator which is built-in administrator get access to everything which is available in vCenter and you have a read only also which is going to be no privilege assigned the the uh, users which is part of this read only having to only get the read only access and also you have a uh, like a uh, few for the networking like nsx administration so modify nsx configurations uh, the rights is and if you uh, see the users the only uh, nsx administrator is used and where it's linked like vcenter server you can see and description you can see allow uh, vSphere users to view and modify the NSS configuration so similar type of you can see everything is there and we have uh, some kind of like like as I discuss in starting you have uh, some IT administrator in your organization you want uh, give them the uh, uh, like rights to console the virtual machine restart the virtual machine power off power on snapshot related then you definitely can give them virtual machine power user so if I go to rights you will see browse the data store cancel task create schedule task and the virtual machine they will get everything like change memory CPU count modify disk rename virtual machine so they, they got all the tasks and they got also in, uh, in, interaction like power on power off reset and also they would get the snapshot management so let's create one here one account like uh, go ahead and create group first which is called VCSA VCSA power admins let's put here VCSA VMs VMs power admins and click OK now let's create one uh, user and add this user in this group so I'm going to create one user called IT admin 01 and just going to put it here IT admin 01 and I'm going to copy the same here as the username click next and then we need to type the password so I'm going to type my password So the user account is created now I'm going to add this user in a member of account for the VCSA VMs and I'm going to check name so it's going to be a uh, VCSA VMs power admin so click OK and now this IT admin 01 got the um, added to the VCSA power admin but the account is not yet created so I'm going to click here on the my vCenter server I'm going on my vCenter server and go to permission and click add and then I'm going to s add my VCSA the group which we created VCSA VMs power admins and the roles which is required to be given is VCSA um, no, virtual machine power user sample so I'm going to propagate to ch children so click OK now you will see this m this user got um, added here on the root so this is good and now if I go to virtual machine even you can see this user is got added here so now let's try to add a log 
a login with this user and verify if this user uh, got the access to create the snapshot and delete and other tasks so lapsons on username is id admin 01 and the password for this account i'm going to type so now you will see this user account got access to this particular we sent a server where we have added and now if I go here on the virtual machines you will see this user will get access to the like um, if you want to rename it it will get the option if you want to take the snapshot this user can take the snapshot like just snapshot so you can see the snapshot creation successfully and also if you want to verify the network thing and anything related to virtual machine the user can do and verify so this is good so this is basically how we can configure the roles privilege and permissions in vCenter and definitely this is going to help you in your day-to-day uh, -day job like if you are a VCSA uh, a VMware administrator and you want to delegate some tasks to your uh, team members or other team members which uh, which require access to do certain job on their uh, as per their job profile then definitely you can create the rules and privilege and give them access to vCenter server so uh, uh, that is basically going to require um, uh, going to minimize your uh, your uh, work workload from the vcenter server endpoint so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me my given mail IDs. thank you once again bye bye